Hey guys, I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson and Contest Prep University. Excited to close out our series on macro management with our fifth episode. And uh, you said something last time, uh, Adam, you, you said, you know, we're, you and I are kind of dynamic. You know, we're, we're willing to, to use all the tools in the tool belt, all of the clubs in the bag. And so this kind of macro fluidity, um, I, I think when you're talking about diet progressions and almost like we build training blocks and training progressions. I think of dieting that way. You know, here's how we're going to start for the first month or two. Here's probably what we're going to ease into next. Then here's where I want to transition into really being ready. And then we're going to go through this metabolic building phase. So I, I look at the calendar. I look at where my clients are. And as I'm creating their initial programming, it's with that entire process in mind. And, and that I think is part of that, that macro management you know, through the long haul, I'll even make some decisions like, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll save a little protein back here. You know, we'll stay on the low moderate side because as we start reducing calories a little bit, I may want to increase that percentage. And so I want to kind of keep this in my back pocket. Uh, how do you start thinking through this process and, and then maybe even describing it to your clients? I think a good example of this is something I recently did with a client um, in her off season. I had her at a higher fats uh, for flexibility. And then what I did was I lowered her fats pretty significantly. And then I actually increased her carbs and lowered her protein some. And there was only about 75 calorie difference between um, what I moved her to and where she's at now. And uh, in two weeks, she's lost three pounds. So um, my initial move wasn't really even a calorie pull. It was just more kind of shifting carbs up, creating more of a thermic effect. Um, also, um, just a little bit of additional cardio, but we had only added, I think, uh, 10 minutes for the whole week. So it really wasn't that big of a change. And uh, she actually had emailed me about four days in and said, I'm not really feeling anything, but now we're a week and a half in and she's like, okay, now I'm down three pounds. <laughs> so no, I, I love using case studies like this. I have a client who's just getting ready to transition into the pre-contest season. So her, her end of the off season macros were around 145, 150 grams of protein. Uh, carbohydrate is right around 250. Fat intake, I think, is somewhere around 60, maybe, maybe 50. And so I said, okay, here we're going to be competing in the summer. And she's only about seven, maybe six pounds away from her contest weight of last year. So I said, we definitely don't have to hurry. You know, we have that advantage because you, you had a very responsible off season. We were able to really go through a good metabolic building phase through her pre-contest. So as we entered the off season, she was already at maintenance levels of food. So with all those advantages, I said, look, all we have to do is cut carbs from 250 to 200. Uh, let's cut fat down, you know, to maybe, maybe 40 grams, just, you know, still a pretty good amount of calorie base for somebody who's only a, 116 pounds. And then we'll start increasing the consistency of cardio a little bit. So this is one of those people, even though I've talked about Adam sometimes wanting to do kind of an induction phase where I really give somebody a, a kind of a hard first or second week to plow them into the pre-contest mindset. And then, then we level up a little bit. She is kind of the opposite. You know, she's had such a good off season that we're, we just can take this down very incrementally. And, and I'm already planning those blocks from that starting point. That's awesome. Is she progressing pretty well? Yeah, we're, we're just getting started planning out the, the calendar. Um, obviously, wants to hit all the big shows. So we're looking at nationals, junior nationals, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's, uh, it's that time of the year. It's, it's fun to start going through these progressions and, and programming you know, discussions with clients. Feels like we can make a definite plan now, too, <laughs> this year. Yeah, which feels yes. good. Last year, shut down with COVID. Uh, you and I were wrong quite a lot of the year. We, we were, you know, in the spring, it's like, oh, we'll be ready by early summer. We'll be fine. And then oh, late summer, we'll be good. Fall, it'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, I watched uh, a few of our COVID podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, this didn't pan out the way we thought we were going <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, we'll, we'll try not to predict public health outcomes from now on on our, on our podcast. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope that helped. We wanted to make sure we could we could start this season off talking about metabolic management, macro management, and, and give you a good 
base, a good foundation for moving forward into your year. Look forward to more series with you, Adam, and with everybody watching and listening in Contest Prep University.